Hey everybody, it is All Girl Plans and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a throwback plan with me for the week of August 23rd through the 29th. This week I had a bunch of birthdays, so I thought this kit from Ice Cream Joe would be perfect. Um, before I get any further, I wanted to mention that I do use slight profanity in my videos. If you're not a fan of that, I'm so sorry, but that's just how I live my life, and you have been warned. Um, yeah, the first part of this clip, like of me doing the bass, was filmed September 10th. And then um, I filmed the day by day on April 23rd. So it's been a minute, okay? Um, but I absolutely love how this turned out. This kit is absolutely stunning. Ice Cream Joe killed it. I think this was actually the first kit that Joe released. And um, I just, I love it. The colors, the art, everything is perfect. So I'm really excited for you guys to see how this turns out. Um, I do my planning a little different now where I pull all of my stickers before I do my va my base just so I can see how much room I really need, um, but I went into this with the base already being done, so it is a little weird, okay? It's a little funky, but it still turned out really cute and I'm still very, very excited about it. Um, if, if I'm talking kind of weird, I do have a face mask on right now, like a skincare face mask, um, and I have hair dye in my hair. So, um, kind of like all over the place, but I'm trying to be super productive today, and I'm trying to get super ahead with videos. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm on schedule, like I'm up to date with my 2022 planner, so I have some time to go back into my 2021 planner and finish it out. Um, this was the oldest spread that I had to finish, so basically from this week out, Besides like Thanksgiving week and Christmas week, all of those still need to be planned. Uh, a lot of those bases are already done, and I think I filmed some of the ones that are done. I don't know if I filmed all of them, but we have potential for a lot of throwback spreads here, and I hope you guys like them. I'm really excited to get into like the Halloween ones because Halloween's my favorite, and honestly the Christmas ones too, but yeah, I was a little bit all over the place with this video. Um, I didn't mark everything in because for some reason there were like a lot of days where I wrote a lot of stuff down but I didn't leave room to put all of it in. So yeah. Also I really love how my sidebars look now versus like this one. I don't like how this looks. I don't know. It's just not my vibe. And that's just like crazy how different um, like our planning styles go from like one. This is what like September, October, November, December. I guess like nine months ago or something like that. I don't know. Math. But um, yeah, really crazy. Maybe it's not nine months, like seven months. I, I just don't feel like doing the math, honestly. But um, I'm also using some underlays from Planet Hannah. You can use Emily15 to save or put my name in the notes if there's a sale going on. Um, I used the sprinkle ones because I thought that it made sense to do that with the spread because it was all birthday themed. My dad's birthday was this week, Carly of Carly Plan's birthday was this week, and then a couple friends from work, their birthdays were this week. Um, this is when I was working at Atomic still, so um, I wasn't at Whole Foods yet. It's so crazy to be like planning this and being like, my life was completely different. I was very emotional and all over the place, and I was working only like four days a week, um, three or four days depending on which location I was at. Um, like this was before Nate and I started dating obviously. It's just like so crazy like to look back at this. Um, I definitely prefer looking back at my spreads for this year because of all the cute memories that Nate and I have shared, but it is still nice to go back and plan these um, spreads and um, I used a lot of black scripts in this, so I didn't use a lot of labels. I actually had a ton of labels left over. I just, like, I'm always so worried that I'm not going to have enough labels. So if I have a black script for something, I'm going to use that most of the time. Um, and then I just hold on to these labels and use those for weeks where I need to pull them in because I don't have a black script for something. So I had a ton of leftovers from this kit, which is awesome. Um, I definitely could have gotten away with using a lot of labels. But um, I didn't, so that's fun. I didn't speed this base up quite as much as I normally do because the day-by-day day went so quick because um, 
I had all the stickers pulled, obviously, but I also, um, like, didn't use a lot of labels, so I didn't have to think about a lot of things. I just kind of, like, threw it on the box. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to make sure this video was still a decent length for you guys, so that's where we are. Um, at the very top, I used that August script from Sticker Guru, and you can use Emily15 to save. I pulled in these date numbers from Sticky Essentials, I believe. Are those from Delilah? I think they are. And look at how cute my little band-aid is on my thumb. Adorable. It's so crazy, like, looking back at this, um... There's some videos that I, like, filmed a base for that were talk-throughs, and I'm debating on if I want to keep them as talk-throughs or not, um, like, especially my one for my, what was last year? Was last year my six years free of self-harm? I think it might have been. Again, I just don't feel like doing math right now, but for that week, um, I was talking about how much I was struggling, and I'm just not in that same place now, but I feel like keeping that might be really good to show that like life does get better so let me know down below what you think about that like if I have talk throughs even though it's not relevant at all anymore should I still keep them as talk throughs or should I do them as voiceovers let me know because I feel like you guys might see this video before I do that but I'm not too sure so we'll, we shall see so now we're in the day by day uh, the first thing that I marked on Monday with this Coffee Monsters Co. sticker was that it was my dad's birthday. And um, I'm sorry if you guys hear kids in the background. Um, there's some kids outside playing, so yeah. Um, so this day, this was like right after my, well, my accident, my car accident happened a couple weeks before this. Um, so this day, I called my dad, obviously, because it was his birthday, and I also called my mom. Um, I could have marked that the same time because... I'm pretty sure they were, like, by each other, um, or maybe my mom was at work, I don't know. Um, I also called USAA this day because I was picking up my rental car the next day, um, but I didn't mark that in because I didn't have room. Um, I got some groceries this day, um, and all of those scripts that I've used so far, those are all from Planahanna, and then this grocery bag is from Carly Plans, and you can use Emily15 to save. And then um, the last thing I marked was that I did some planning and I used a box for that just to take up a little bit more room. And I love this like light yellow that's in this kit. Like I love the colors in this kit so much. It was a little hard to find um, doodles that match like perfectly, but I just, I'm obsessed with these colors. They're so cute. Um, so the next day on the 24th, that was Carly of Carly Plan's birthday. So I marked that with a munchkin. Um, and then I marked that I was tired as fuck. Um, when am I not, honestly? But this day I had to drive up to um, a different part of North Austin. So I'm on the North Austin part that is on 35, which is by like Pflugerville or like Round Rock. But there's another side of North Austin that's by like Cedar Park and Leander. And um, I had to go over there to, um, because that was one of the only caliber collisions that was, um, like, that was the one that I could get into the fastest, and it still was, like, I was on the, I was waiting for a couple weeks, um, because there had been, like, a hail storm, um, so a lot of people were bringing their cars in, but I finally got to bring my car in, because I had no AC, and my car was, like, duct taped together for the front, um, so I took my car in, dropped it off, and I got my rental car, which was so cute. It was like a smaller, like a little bit smaller than my car, but it was actually really cute and I really liked it. So I marked that I dropped my car off and I got my rental car. And then I went to a couple different places because I was finally able to drive places and not be sweaty um, because it was August. It was hot as fuck outside and I had no AC. It was miserable. Um, but I went to Daiso and Marshalls, um, some of my favorite places to go to. I also went to Dutch Bros this day, but I didn't mark that. And I went to Target and I think HEB too, but I didn't mark all of that stuff in there. I just did like a bunch of errands. Um, and then I got Crumble this day as well. Um, this is when I was getting Crumble like a little bit more often. I feel like Crumble's been slacking recently. Like I saw... Um, this week's flavors for me, and I was like, eh, those don't seem really good. 
Like, Nate and I only get it if it looks like a good lineup. We don't get it just to get it. And I feel like recently they haven't been doing too much that looks interesting. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, the next thing that I put down was me time for washing my hair, maybe like shaving my legs or something like that. Um, I just like to, I had to combine a lot of things this day because this was definitely a day that I could have done an extender, but for some reason past Emily was like, nah girl, you're good with just two boxes. Um, same with the next day too. So, um, the first thing that I marked this day was that I went to Target and TJ Maxx. And then I did do some laundry this day, so I marked that. Um, and then the next thing I marked was that I got to play with the girls, which I always love doing. This was, I think, before I got Fiona, right? I'm trying to remember. I think I got Fiona in the fall time. So this was before that. Um, so it was just Abby and Lily. I have that adorable sticker from Joy of Planning, which I love. And I feel like my handwriting turned out pretty cute in this spread. I've been liking my handwriting recently, especially when I use Creamy on Matte stickers and I get to use this pen. It is perfect. I love it. I did some baking this day, so I marked that. And then I actually went on a date this day, and I feel weird, like, marking dates and stuff now. Um... And I know this is like in the past, so I shouldn't feel weird, but I just kind of do. Um, but I decided to leave this one in. Um, I went on a date with this girl, Sarah, and um, it was fun. We like went to a bar. Um, we actually went to a couple different bars. Um, we like bar hopped around Round Rock, and it was pretty fun. Um, but that was the only date that I went on with her, so there's that. Um, I don't know. Should I feel weird? I mean, obviously, like, I'm entitled to my feelings, but I don't know if anybody else is, like, back planning stuff to, like, a different time where, like, they're in a relationship now, but they weren't then. I don't know. Um, anyways, let's just move on to Thursday because I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. On Thursday, I marked that I visited my sweet Noel, and I have this really, really cute sticker that um, Chelsea of Chasing Chels um, made for me, that is a cute little beagle that reminds me of when Noelle was a baby. We didn't have her when she was a baby, but we've seen pictures and it's pretty spot on. And then I was still having Starbucks at this point in my life, so this is where I'm going to get to use all of those, like, Starbucks stickers, um, is through my back planning because I was going to Starbucks a lot. Um, I was getting Starbucks before work, basically, every day, and I worked this week, Thursday through Sunday. So for marking Starbucks, I used a Kenzie's Creation Script and a Carly Plans Cup. I did some more baking this day, so I marked that. And then this day, I really didn't need all of this extender room. I have no idea why I decided to use an extender on this day and not a different day. Um, so yeah, I could have pulled out some stickers to do some layering, but I just didn't feel like it. I wanted to just use the kit, so... I marked that I worked at Atomic and it was a slow day. I was working at one of the slower locations. I think this was like the first week or maybe it was the second week that I was moved from working at my favorite location. So I was just kind of upset about that. Um, but I used a custom Fox and Cactus Girl for that. And then I did get Taco Bell um, whenever I got off. And then I was just feeling like really anxious. So I decided to go and hang out at my preferred Atomic to work at because my friends are there. I just kind of hung out, ate my food, and talked with them, and then I felt like a little better, so then I decided to go home. I just didn't want to be like by myself, so um, uh, I'm glad that I was able to go there, and I know that I can always go there and hang out if I want to, so that's really nice. Um, so that was everything for Thursday. On Friday, it was two of my coworkers' birthdays, Emily and Vin, um, so I wanted to mark that. I actually, I think I had baked them stuff, I don't remember. I think that might have been what I was baking the day before, um, but I put both of their birthdays in there, and then I marked that I did some cleaning. I love these scripts from Carly Plans. Um, I don't know if I'm going to write first. Yeah, I'm going to write first. Ooh, a little yawn break, because I can't do a voiceover without yawning. 
Um, but yeah, I love these scripts from Curly Plans. I love that she has so many like specific cleaning scripts. It's my actual favorite. So I use an emotional cleaning one, the munchkin, and then I marked cleaning my bathroom. And I have this sticker from Crafty Planner Co., which is so cute. It's like literally like so perfect. And then um, this day kind of warranted a extender. If I had another full box, I could have gotten away with like just doing one extra box, but I didn't. So I marked that I cleaned the girl's cage. And then I also marked that I washed the dishes, and that script is from Nicole Alexia Designs, and you can use Emily 10 to save. Um, I also did some emails. I think I was still, maybe, I think I was doing scheduling for an artist at this time still, so I marked that. Um, also had a cheeky little anxiety attack before work, so I marked that in with the Fox and Cactus Girl. And I got Starbucks on my way to work. And I marked work again. It was another slow day. It was slow at this location, like, pretty much all the time, um, especially compared to the one that I was at before. Oh, hi, Abby. Abby's eating her treat. Um, so I marked that. I put it on a box for that one. Um, and then I did go to third base after work because I wanted to see my friends because um, I had a lot of friends that worked there. Um, some of them don't work there anymore. I actually, like, rarely ever go to third base anymore just because I spend more time in um, South Austin. And um, third base is, like, in Round Rock, I think, technically. So, like, way north and <laughs> just doesn't make sense. And I, I don't know. I just, I don't do it as much anymore. So that's everything for Friday. Moving on to Saturday, I marked that I was tired as fuck. I forgot to pull a little, like, doodle or munchkin or whatever for that. So I decided to put some star decos in from the kit because I really didn't want to have to pull out just one sticker. Um, and I didn't want that color to be next to the other one, which is why I decided to put that label on Sunday already. But yeah, I marked that I was tired as fuck. Um, because I went to third base the night before and I probably shouldn't have, um, because then as I was getting off of work at like midnight and then going into work at like 10, I was working a lot, like a lot of long days when I worked for Atomic, so yeah. Um, so that was this day. Um, I got some Starbucks and then I worked. We ordered Pizza Hut. So I marked that in with a pizza night script, and then I got a $100 tip from one of the artists. Um, she's one of my favorite people ever. She is so sweet, and, like, basically with my job, I was making tips from artists. They were supposed to tip me out for all the different things that I did for them, um, and that's where, like, most of my pay came from was from tips, but certain artists wouldn't tip me, um... So she gave me, like, a really good tip to kind of make up for that, which is just, like, it just shows, like, how kind of a person she is. Like, she didn't have to do that, but she knew that, like, I needed that money. So it was just really, really sweet of her. So I wanted to mark that in here. And then on Sunday, I, the first thing I marked was that it was another one of my friend's birthday, whose name is also Emily. We had a lot of Emilys that worked at Atomic. So I marked that first. And I love the way that I write Emily. Obviously, I it's my name, so I can write it. I write it all the time. And I feel like it looks really pretty. Um, and then I marked Starbucks again. Anatomic uh, looks the same as the day before, which I kind of hate. But my life was very repetitive. So um, I marked that. And then one of the piercers ordered donuts and got me some this day. Which, so I wanted to mark that because that was very, very sweet of her. Um, and then... I think I got off of work this day at like 7. My schedule was slightly different at this location. So um, I decided to get ready because I didn't do a lot of makeup really during the day. for the Because like Sundays I had to get there even earlier to clean. Um, so I went home and I got ready and then I went to third base to end off the week. And I love that little paper and milk sticker. It is so freaking adorable. I love it just like peeping behind the beer. 
Um, but that is everything for this throwback spread. I'm really excited for you guys to see the wiggle at the end. I love hollow spreads. They don't capture as well on camera, but they are so absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that the throwback spreads. Um, I know it's not last year, but it's still planning, so I feel like it's still relevant. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this spread or this video down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!